my previous video, I showed you that we could um, install the iOS mod on the Samsung Jio that is running Android 404. It had the existing uh, Android installed on it. And in fact, we went into recovery mode and we flashed, we first wiped all the settings, erased the phone to new, and then, you know, we go ahead and we flashed it and everything went right. So we know that it's working on 404. So now um, I want to do a clean install of the Cyanogen mod on uh, the Samsung S2 Plus. Why? Uh, well, this thing can run Android 6 and it runs just fine with Android 6, but I still want to kind of play with it a bit. And this is in fact what we're gonna build. Let me show it to you. We're booting it up. I think the battery might be a little bit on the low side. Let me power her a bit there. You can see it, it's booting up. A nice big apple. Oops. And then it will flash. This is really sexy. This is what you will get on the Samsung S2 Plus. I'm not sure if it's also gonna happen on other phones. And then boom, you see that? It's really amazing. And um, when you first installed it, you will get two errors and then everything will be just fine. So all the apps are also, you know, included. I showed you that if we do a factory reset, everything will be up and running just the way you left it. So you will have all the apps, the look and feels, and even your boot animation uh, up and running. So let's see how to do that. And uh, I had to put out a warning there for guys that are on Android 5 and 6. Please don't try this, you will break your phone. Well, at least your phone will hang to into, you know, the logo and it will not boot up. So that will be a waste of your time and maybe your complete inspiration but if you made a backup it should not be a problem to go back to whatever you was on and if you did not create a backup then you was being stupid we're gonna do a wipe factory reset so there are two versions of this phone you have the uh, the p version and the one without the p so um yeah in fact uh, you got to get the right version otherwise you get uh, a little error and then, yeah, you will have to do the whole thing again, okay? So we're also gonna do the wipe catch. Wipe catch, okay, so this is done. Let's also do a wipe dial fix settings, okay? We wipe the dial fix settings, okay though. So we go one back, we say install zip, install zip from the SD card. And here somewhere we should have the cyanogen mod. Um, let me see if I can find it. Cyanogen mod clockwork apps CM11 on official. I think it's this one. This one here. There we go. We're installing. And if you don't get the right version, you will get the you will get the error, and the Android will die for you. Okay, so in fact, we're flashing 4.4.2 uh, at this moment. Um, I think I will look for updated uh, P version for 4.4, but uh, I couldn't find one so fast. And uh, I did try to install the iOS mod. As you can see, this installation went fine. So in fact, now what I'm showing you is how you can, with your Cyanogen mod, get this iOS uh, look and feels phone, okay, the OS. Uh, ROM. Uh, the OS ROM is also on this card. So we're just gonna go to the card again. And I think I called it updated apps. Let me see where it is. Here, somewhere. Um, apps, settings, zip, boot animation. Um, it should be here. updated iOS 8 per Chrome apps. So this one will be with the two app stores installed. Okay, so now we, we are flashing the apps. And after this, we're gonna flash the boot animation. So we did three flashes in total, okay? 
so we're gonna go one word zip from SD card I will put all these files for you in the description don't try to do this on Android 5 please don't do it on Android 6 because it won't work okay we're working on a version for that um, it was called Apple boot zip install Apple boot zip okay and now we go back and we do a uh, wipe catch partition one more time just to clear everything and now we're gonna reboot the system and it should boot up with the Apple logo and we should get into a complete uh, iOS uh, environment so um, yeah let's see what's gonna happen here is the Apple it's really uh, big we will work on that as well but I think uh, having it this big is also showing that this is not a real Apple okay this is also to keep the respect to you know to the company Apple here we see a flashing something I don't know what this is not sure if this is a boot loop and uh, the flashing uh, is uh, stopped and we also heard the sound of a low battery so what I'm gonna do is insert the battery immediately and uh, you could see it was uh, uh, flashing the boot logo and that looked really really sexy yeah? I think that looked really really beautiful <laughs> wow a flashing boot I never saw a thing like that before so there we go um, here we can wow look at this uh, we can choose our language of course we will go for English I cannot even find English where's English oh Netherlands no not Netherlands but for my Dutch people, as you can see, uh, Netherlands is also included. We hit next. You need to refer to the sim. I don't have sim. Uh, we don't do that. Next. Next. Finish. And we select our eye launcher as always. And then we're going to get two little arrows. And boom we are in and this is uh, a permanent uh, um, iOS uh, I think we should get one more error I'm waiting for it and maybe we will not get the error but here you can see uh, everything worked we got one error talking about the eye control crashed but it uh, is just fine and here you can see uh, everything is installed uh, but do they work well here you can see the blue light echo wine it works okay um, we have a video editor does it work yes it works very beautiful amazing um, we have NPO for our Dutch people live TV does it work of course it works we're not connected to the internet so we will not be able to play anything for now uh, the two app stores as you can see um, there the one mobile market and the nine apps are included we have uh, the scr uh, recorder that will ask for root access you will have to give root access and now you can also make fantastic recordings and reviews of whatever you want to show well uh, unfortunately my friends everything works and uh, this is how to get a permanent uh, ios uh, phone uh, let me show you something just for the record um, if we would go to settings for instance you want to at a certain moment give this phone to to somebody because you know um, this person loved the phone the way it looks you just go to backup and reset you say factory data reset you said reset the phone and then you say erase everything okay so now we're erasing the ROM and we're erasing everything and when the phone will boot up it will boot up the same in this into the same screen as that you see and you will have the same look and feels icons and the apps installed that I added uh, to your uh, to your ROM with this mod so yeah it works so you can also do it this way I think this uh, in this way everybody uh, that uh, has a cyanogen mod um, support 
uh, can then you know create their own fantastic uh, Apple kind of ROM for their phone uh, only Android 4 not uh, on Android 5 or 6 this is how the boot goes you see that this is the boot screen uh, Apple logo that is flashing really nice might give you the illusion that uh, that it will stock up or that it won't work but I think this looks really amazing just because you know it will get out of this uh, this flashing mode and uh, yeah you will be able to simply set up the phone and log in back you see we did not lose the Apple logo everything stayed the way it was and uh, in fact we made this ROM ours uh, by flashing our mod over it so that is fantastic I think it will work on any uh, uh, iOS 4 ROM I did not test it on Android 2 yet because uh, I have no Android 2 phone anymore but uh, nevertheless I don't uh, really care about that it's about uh, yeah KitKat and here you can see we are started up and yeah Opa, finish and of course you will choose for the eye launcher and then you hit always and then you get one little error and then it's done and everything is fixed and you are on the iOS ROM with all the working apps again after a factory reset. Well peeps that's all for now um, I'm really happy that uh, I now know how to you know kind of get all my phones uh, yeah with the same drum it works fine and this is the way how to uh, kind of make any cyanogen mod uh, your own by flashing it with the ios thanks again for watching uh, i hope you like this video if so subscribe and love to see you in the next one